Hello again, students, and welcome to another lesson using Autodesk Inventor Professional 2022, and it's based on the server. Let's dispense with all the navigating to the inch actual interface. Here it is, open, and remember, select Start Working. And then you're going to click this X in the upper right here where you can close the interior window because you don't need it, and you're going to start with a new, actually, and you're going to start by opening your construction set cube. Let's call it cube red IPP open. So to make this simple, what I really want to do is use the plane tool to place a fin on my cube. So I'm going to start with plane. Select that mode and then navigate to the browser on the left. You'll see this box called origin. It's the folder origin. I'm going to select the plus sign and possibly the XY plane. Double click. It brings up your XY plane. You want to turn this so that it's perpendicular to you and then pull it until it's in the center of your cube right there. 0.75. Select the check and then turn the cube so that the plane is now facing you and you want to sketch on that. So start a 2D sketch, make sure you click the perimeter line to activate the work plane. And then you're going to just draw a thin shape using the line tool. Don't make it too tall, but this is like the thin of an airplane, the vertical stabilizer. Once you've drawn your shape, you want to finish sketch and then you want to use the extrude tool. And if you rotate the extrude tool, you'll see that it's extruding out, but you can change it to symmetric because remember the plane is in the middle of your cube and then change the dimension you use to say one, I mean, 0.1 to 0.1. That means it'll be 0.1 left and 0.1 right. Then you click OK. And you want to right click on the perimeter line of the plane and turn visibility off. And there you have the thin cube. Remember to select file, save as, and name it thin cube red or thin cube, whatever color it is. Thin cube red in my case. Save it into your construction set folder. And then you can also select file, export image, maybe change this type to PNG. Make sure that it says save in construction set, saving in your construction set folder, and then select save. Now that's one possible use of the plane tool. What I'm going to do at this point is right click and delete my fin. And I'm going to try that system again. Remember, you can always right click on the plane and select visibility. Then you start a 2D sketch, select the plane. At this point, I'm going to draw the shape of a jet engine right through hit escape to grab the line tool again from the other end and to top off my my shape i want to use an arc then i finish sketch now if you want to see your sketch you can also double click on work plane, grab this arrow and pull it, click OK, and then face it again. I can see there's a line missing right here. So I've got to double click on the sketch, restart the shape here to here. Now I can finish sketch and use the revolve tool. Select the revolve tool, select your shape. 
um, make sure you select this word axis, like here, this box axis. Once you've done that, you select your axis and click OK. And there you have a jet engine cube. Now, if you want to edit the shape, you can always select revolution and there's a sketch that made the revolution and you can pull it out, adjust it, click OK. Ooh, now I like my shape so I can look at it and see it's not even attached to the cube. So what I want to do is again, double click on the work plane, move it a bit closer and then click OK. Now I want to right click on my plane and turn visibility off yet again. And there I have a jet engine cube. So I can select File, Save As. You want to call this Jet Cube Red. Select Save. Once you've saved it, you File, Export, Image. Remember to change it to a PNG, call it Jet Cube Red PNG, save. Those are the images that you'll want to turn in for assignment credit. Good luck.